for the sign of Aquarius, hello and welcome to my channel. In the recent past, we got the Four of Pentacles and the World card. Now the Four of Pentacles is showing in the picture that it's about holding on to things, people, money, situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's definitely a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. Four of Pentacles, it does point to anxiety, it does point to anxiety and fear. Could be about money or maybe clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. Now the key is to remember or to realize that being anxious and grasping like this, it definitely will not bring security. It does not. Now, it's with the world card. The world card, it's about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So make sure you just don't quit because you're so close. You could feel like or you felt like in the recent past that you needed some well-deserved rest relaxation it would have been important for you to not be afraid to take it because you were getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels now when it came to work at that time in the recent past there's a very good chance that you were working far too hard for far too little recognition and money so it would have been important for you to blow your own horn, toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be didn't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So these two cards paired together for the recent past. Four of Pentacles clarified by the world card. So it looks like you were doing some very unhealthy clinging. You were very firm and resistant. Could have been resistant to change or just didn't want to let go of a person or a connection. You held on really, really tight. But it was in an unhealthy way and you probably knew it. It was about anxiety and fear. Or you just you clung on or you were clinging on to whatever make you... You were clinging on to something or someone that that made you feel secure but it was unhealthy and you knew it so and I'm saying you knew it because it's with this world card you knew that it was time to end this journey with this person or a situation you knew it was time to close the chapter yeah so you were at the end of your journey you knew it was time for completion closure closing a chapter um, because you find yourself holding on in a very unhealthy way. Now, if this wasn't with a person, it could have been a situation. So that's a recent past. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the present time. The very end of September. Queen of Swords and Page of Wands. Now, the Queen of Swords, it can point to a woman in your life. And this is the type of person that's not to be trifled with. She will often have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. Now, if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be really forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. You may need to put your foot down the Queen of Swords. It can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now it's about going after it. Queen of Queen of Swords, like I said, is a very, very forceful energy, which most people find really abrasive. Now, the Page of Wands. With this card, it's about being warm, ambitious, high achievers, is the Page of Wands. And if this is not an actual person that's coming towards you or that you know, it does indicate the energy of easy distraction. So it's going to be important to try to stay focused 
um, some things that you've started some time ago, they could start to come to life, start to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page, it brings a very positive energy, but you have to supply the follow-through. The page is also about messages. So if you're hoping to hear from someone, yep, they'll be reaching out to you. And it's usually good news with the page. Well, put it this way. It's usually messages of love and affection. It's coming in from someone. So with these two cards paired together, Queen of Swords clarified by the Page of Wands. So Aquarius, I keep picking up that even though you close a chapter with someone in the recent past, or you're thinking about doing this, you close the chapter with someone that you that was you you were clinging on to in an unhealthy way, or there was some unhealthy clinging. It could have been them clinging on uh, really unhealthy, in an unhealthy way. Um, I'm getting up, I'm picking up that, because we got this Queen of Swords here coming for the present time, and we got this Page of Wands here, I keep getting the feeling that this person is going to reach out to you because that's what the page of wands does yeah this I'm thinking this person they still got uh, some passion for you yeah the page of wands has has great passion to take action that's what the page of wands does yeah so this person from the recent past and I say the recent past because the recent past could have been a week ago could have been a month ago six months ago or more this person is going to reach out to you. They see that you're ending this chapter with them. Or you're thinking about it. And you're going to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords here. Yeah, you're going to let them know that it's time to cut it out. And you'll probably be really cold and abrasive towards them. But they'll be reaching out to you, Aquarius. Yeah, this person still has passion for you. Yep, so, yeah, you'll be putting your foot down. You look, It looks like you've had enough. That's what the Queen of Swords looks like. And that's what the Queen of Swords does. She's very forceful and abrasive. Nothing really nice about the Queen of Swords. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we got the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So, Seven of Swords... Is about behaving with less than ethical intentions. Now, if you feel that someone is spying in on you, well, you could be right. And if you feel like you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, well, you just might want to resist the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So... Just know your instincts and impressions, they're on point at this time. So like I said, if you feel like someone is spying, stalking, or just watching you, then you're, you're probably quite correct. And that's what the Seven of Swords does. That's what it's about. Now, it's paired with this Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, with this card, you may be holding yourself back because you're afraid. You have fear of moving into the future or because you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could be for no reason at all. So it's about thinking through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So your challenge, Aquarius, Seven of Swords and Eight of Swords. So, this person that you, you're trying to close a chapter with, you're trying to complete the cycle with this person, uh, like I said, they'll be reaching out to you. They still got passion for you. They watch you with the Seven of Swords here. This person keeps tabs on you. They could be stalking you. 
you Aquarius, you got this person stuck in their head. Yeah. They're afraid. It looks like they're afraid of of losing you. They're afraid, but they're holding themselves back. Or they could have been holding themselves back in the in the connection. And now they're afraid they're stuck in their head about you, about this connection, about you trying to close the cycle, end the journey with them. They're really stuck in their head. Because if you look at the Eight of Swords, this man has himself caged in with these swords. But there's an opening right in front of him. There's a fire coming behind him. And he's just stuck there. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. But you got this person really stuck in their head. So they do a lot of spying in on you and watching you. They keep tabs on you. Yeah, this person still has passion for you. And they see you moving move, moving on or trying to. So let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Ace of Wands and we got the Queen of Cups. Now the Ace of Wands is indicating new beginnings, very positive ones. Could be in the area of accomplishments. Could have something to do with work or career. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, really hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you're likely to be feeling quite energetic, really positive, or you'll be feeling that way really soon. This ace tells you that now is a good time to start something new. So it's with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is someone that will be really helpful to you. The Queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work. And that's even possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when you get this card in a reading. In a reading. Yeah, it's a very positive outlook about a relationship. So, for the outcome, Ace of Wands clarified by the Queen of Cups. So, Aquarius, it looks like, yeah, you're just ready for a new beginning. Yeah, you're excited. You got a lot of passion for a new fresh start. That's what you want. You just want a, a new day, and you're ready for it to happen now. Because if you look at that wand, it's not just sitting above the clouds, but it burst. It actually burst really fast above the clouds. So you're ready for that new day right now. Yeah, you spent enough time with this person, and you realize that it's time to end this journey. Even though they'll be reaching out to you with a lot of passion. And they do keep tabs on you. They are stuck in their head. So, you got some very, a very loving type of energy coming in here with the Queen of Cups. The Queen and the King of Cups is a very, one of the most loving type of energies that are in the tarot. One of the most. Queen and King of Cups. So you got some real, real, um, real positive energy coming in. Yeah, I'm going to give you another scenario now. With this new, with this um, you wanting a new beginning, um, you th you either got a very loving, supportive type of person that's coming towards you, or you got someone coming to offer you love. Yeah, now this could be the same person, could be a new person. Yeah, someone's coming in to offer you love, or you could just be wanting someone that's very loving and compassionate to come towards you to help kickstart your new your new journey yeah this it could go the storyline could go a few different ways there but that's a reading that i have for you i hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone always resonate with everyone always resonate